Yo, 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 not this normal podcast. It's your host, Spinx. Back at you with another episode. <clears throat> Y'all see me smiling, man. Um, good episode today with a good brother, good, good guy, guy I've been looking up to for a long time, knowing for a long time. But before we get into him, let's get into our sponsors, man. Shout out to Greenleaf, the home studio. This episode is powered to you by Greenleaf. Um, shout out to GBA, rest in peace to Lil' Samai. We'll get you one of them forever age joints, man. Uh, rest in peace, baby boy. But uh, with that being said, man, without further ado, who I got sitting to the left, my dude, man? My dude, man. It's good. Yeah. Man. Tory Thomas in the building. You know, 914, White Plains. Yeah. Ferris Ave. Born and raised. For man. sure. Let me shake your hand, yeah, brother. Man. Man. Oh, appreciate it. Love. You. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, of course, man. You a legend, man. We're going to get into sure. it. Um, Now, over here, nothing's normal. You know we got this policy, and I think this would be—it's a good—it's a be a good segue for you, like being a motivator and a leader you are. We got this policy. We like to start, you know, in the beginning of the story. We don't really like to jump to page fifty because we like our yeah. viewers to see the steps that guys like yourself and others we have sitting next to us. Some of the steps they went through to get through, get to where y'all got to. You know, help no them doubt. skip a step and, and, and see, you know, let yeah. it be known they can do it. No you know doubt. What I'm That's a fact. That so with that being said, Mr. Thomas, yeah. man, where yeah. you from? Well, you said where you was yeah. from, but, but where out of White we, Plains you from, man? I'm from Ferris Ave, man. Ferris, Ferris Ave. Ave. Everybody know where Ferris is if you're from Westchester. You know, of course, well now renowned for the basketball Ferris World Ball, but before that, you know what I mean, it was the, the block that, you know, a lot of people came to. <laughs> It was a block that I grew up on since I was born, so born and raised on Ferris. For sure, a uh, block that had a lot of activity, a Absolutely. lot of a lot of a lot of um, activity on the block that had, you know, say a lot of negative connotations to it, but it had a lot of love, mm -hmm. a lot of community, a lot of support. Um, back in the when I was growing up, it was you know '90s for that, and I'm born in '85, mm -hmm. so you know it was a lot of drugs, yeah. a lot of things that you had to, you, and you learn, you, you learn fast, and but mm -hmm. we had a good community. Yeah. That really stuck up for each other. That's one thing I could say about Ferris. And I could, like I said, I'm not from there, but I could attest. I've been up there long enough. It's, it's I could attest to that. Something mm -hmm. special about Ferris. Like, I, I don't. A lot of the blocks you go to, mm -hmm. like, it's a lot of unity, a lot of family. Not saying y'all don't have yes. internal conflict, of course. but it's a it's a very uh, tight knit, close knit community up there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's what we, we I think we pride ourselves on that, and it comes from the mothers and and some of the fathers that was in the thing where they actually made sure that. They knew that if you was doing wrong or you was doing right, they're gonna tell you you're doing wrong and they're gonna praise you when you're doing right. And it was a community aspect of it that I know that I took on and that's what molded me into the man that I am today. Mm. Now, with that being said, man, on Ferris, man, it's a couple different buildings. I got yeah. some some houses that look yeah. like buildings and this, that, and the third. Where yeah. at on Ferris? So you I'm from? 70, so the Woo. first brown building. Yeah. That, that's Yeah, I'm 70 Ferris, which is the Madison house. <laughs> then you've got 155, which is, you know what I'm saying, the Summit house. Mm -hmm. 155 is more luxurious, as okay. they say. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. They got balconies and all of that. <laughs> we write, we, we, we kind of like more gutter, they say. You know, like yeah. it's funny because... We, we got the train tracks right behind us, so okay, you can't yeah. have balconies. Other. So we used to cross the train tracks to get to the county center. That Damn. was my first trips to going to see stuff, the, the mm -hmm. WWF and Ooh. all of that that actually happened, Barnum and Bailey Circus. That was all at the county center. County center had so many events going on, and shout out to Rest in Peace, Ms. Walmack. She used to let us in, yeah. so I never had to get a ticket or nothing. Ms. Walmack was one of the uh, major D's over there. She okay. used to, you know, Guard the door, yeah. and that's where it is. So we 70s the first. When you coming up the hill from the train station and bus station, 70s the first building you see, like the first big building you see. Yeah. So I'm from 70, that's 70, 7J, man. 70 Ferris Apartment, 7J, man. Y yeah, 7J. And yeah. Yeah, so you basically, the county center was in your backyard, man, backyard. growing up. Yeah. Was backyard. the county center around when you was coming? Well, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm bugging you. The county center, excuse me. No, I ain't gonna pull my Westchester car. Like, the county yeah. center been around for some, it's been for some around. time. Yeah, now, it's been around. Growing up in '70, mm -hmm. um, a lot of a lot of the God of good names uh, mm -hmm. come from '70, and of course, you know we we all know you know you know for basketball, and we gonna yeah. get into that. Mm -hmm. But um, how was it for you in the household in '70, man? Like you know, I had mom. a strong mother, had mm -hmm. older sisters, Tashana right. and Tammy, who held me down. That was yeah. the, the 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 family of there. So my mother, Rosemary, rest in peace to her. Rest in peace. She raised Rose. um some you know some great children, but my older sisters was it was a benefit for me because I got a chance to learn about women, mm. but I got also a chance to learn that they were older, about 12, 13 years older than me, okay. so they took me outside. Right. Then 
oh, you can't be around these women all the time. And the, the men made Come sure on. they got me. Mm -hmm. The guys in the community, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The people that I, you know, was looking up to, they right. grabbed me. And now I'm going to the park. I'm outside mm -hmm. late night, you know yeah. what I mean? Because that's just how it was. And you learned a lot. So, mm -hmm. you know, from being on, you know, 70, we had a, a right downstairs it was called the rock it was a major big rock that was in the middle of like the playground uh -huh. that you would see now yeah that's where they hung out that's yeah. when it was about pay phones yeah you know they they end up chilling chilling drinking mm. their 40s relax yeah. i just seen i remember all of this stuff vividly vividly i remember it but i remember that it was about making sure that you become a man mm -hmm. right now you're gonna be with you know i got sisters and it's, all that absolutely. but absolutely that ain't what you they gotta scoop you up yeah they scooped me up that's and love that's what i learned the first like as a young kid mm -hmm. then i started branching out on my own to walk to the park by myself with my basketball in yeah. hand and, and then one thing i could say that they never gave me anything not a yeah. pack mm. not no weed mm. not no liquor mm -hmm. nothing it wasn't yeah. even about that so to this day it just turned 39 two weeks ago no drugs Pisces. No liquor, yes. Yeah. No smoking. Thirty nine. You know Never. what I'm saying? Never. Ah, so, shake your hand. That's a, no that's doubt, a, st baby. a statistic we need to pay attention to. No doubt, baby. You know, that's a statistic that need to get more notoriety, yeah, like man. Never. Like, wow. And you and it's about discipline that's tough. too. You, you I'm fried about discipline. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's that's all tough. good. And it ain't no judgment yeah. on whatever anybody yeah. do because I've been through the ringer. Definitely. Because my mom was one of ten. Yeah. My grandma Bessie McKee had ten kids, mm -hmm. and I seen multiple. Seen I seen, kids. I seen, Absolutely. I seen, I seen addiction. Right. I seen that from the family, and I seen overcoming addiction. But I know what it looked like, mm -hmm. so I say, yo, I know what, what time it is, and I was able to get both sides of the field, as you know, going through my story of me leaving, leaving White Plains to right. go to Trinity and stuff. So I have different a uh, perspective on life mm -hmm. a little bit different than what other people might yeah. think, just coming from Ferris, because right. a lot of people from there. With that being said, man, who are some of the people who influenced you coming up, man, who molded, you know, some of yeah. your movements and you get into the, because you see that in mm -hmm. movies, like you got like a, yeah. that's like a Jesus Shuttleworth story, like mm -hmm. make sure he good, he got yeah. his basketball, you know, Facts. make sure he's straight. A lot of kids don't get chosen like nah, that for that's community. True, that's, that's, that's dope. That's true, I definitely could say that. Yeah, nah, that's it was, dope, it was guys like, well, the, the main guy that really had me, um, was was Larry White Duck? We call okay, him Duck. Duck okay, yeah, yeah, so pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call him Duck or Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. He was the main guy that really he, he lived six J. Okay, and I right would be that. And, and his he had brother, which is Hub Damien, okay. and another brother Sean. Sean, yeah. Sean is like my bigger brother, mm -hmm. of like as in in age proximity yeah. and seeing them play. And then Sav Jamal Brown, okay, so yeah, Sav yeah, 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 Sav yeah. was another one that some mm -hmm. Sav was another one. That, them was the like that, but. Then you got Av. You got so many guys yeah. from Fer We had a whole list of guys. Football, everything. You know what I'm saying? You got Tall, Bobby Jacks, mm -hmm. everybody. Solid. They all from solid men that Whatever you, from yeah. Ferris that was men. That like was alpha men, men yeah. that, that really. Alpha. They had, and they was in the streets, though. Yeah. So let's keep it real. Whatever you want. You know, want. like streets as in like just outside. Not yeah. not, not, not no Ferris activity street. Yeah. Just outside. Outside. And, yeah. yeah. And it was more about like, yo, this is what we do. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we parlay, we par, we chill, we, we listen to music, we learn, yeah. we talk, we yeah. can discuss many topics. And um, that's how I, I learned how to be just, you know, moving moving forward. But I had a total different path than everybody that I ever come across, all yeah. my friends that I come it. from. And mm -hmm. they, my path was just different. Yeah. And you just learn that. Yeah. Not one is better than the other, it's just what's different and what you steer towards. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the little gym that came through, for me, as most people don't know, I actually grew up, like my backyard was Greenberg, though. See, so I give it so We're going to get into that because yeah. I want to get your perspective, especially yeah, my, when you talk about the Greenberg Center. Yeah. You know, that's something I want to I want to get your perspective because yeah. a lot of y'all grew up in the center, too. That's a the fact. Center is home that's too. Not, yeah. yeah, that's a fact for me. And the guys would know more of the stories, too, playing football yeah. with yes, you. At this time, I had moved. So, yeah. but I heard all of the, the legendary. So football, yeah. yeah, I was I was a football yeah. player first. Mm -hmm. So that was my main thing. And right. White Plains didn't have a football team for us at the time. Well, they didn't have Wolverine, not, Bernie's? They didn't have Wolverine, Bernie. Bernie's was something different. That was like across town. It's hard okay. to get over there. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. could ride our bikes over to Greenberg Center. Yeah. And I got a yo, rest in peace again to Frankie Williams, rest in peace, who was my uh. coach, and Lucky. Yeah, Those luck. are the two coaches. Then uh, my, my other coach was DJ Head. Yeah. That's how from all the way back then, yeah. DJ Head became right. my personal DJ through our relationship when I was a young yeah, kid. I was on one of them boat rides. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Boat rides and all. But Greenberg... Really, oh, coach, uh, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee was oh, a yeah. coach. Yeah, so yeah. we we not only were we together like 
White Plains kids, like me, COD, all us, mm-hmm. and then Greenberg, but we won. We yeah. were the, one of the best teams in the area, beat Mount Vernon, New Rochelle, everybody. Oh, so yeah. this is all documented and known, and some is on film. Yeah. So it's not like we just say, Greenberg was the best thing going. Greenberg Who was Falcons. on that team, man? We had to do Christian. Okay. Christian Tudor from man. okay, Christian. Tudor man, Christian. Oh, you talking Mighty about Chris Dickey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I can give those Legends. Ones. Yeah. Yeah, Finch. And, yeah. We mm-hmm. we had we had a lot. Of, we had guys. Everybody. Yeah. Darnell O'Neill. Yeah. yeah. Sparks. Yeah. Shout C- out to Sparks. COD was on my COD. team. Yeah. We For had sure. our team was like crazy. Yeah. What you play? Hit, I play I play tailback. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I was like one of the main guys, so it was crazy. Him. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was one of the main guys, and I and football is my first passion. For sure. Really. Love football. That's what mm. that's what we did. Who put the football in? There's a lot of football players up on Ferris. So that's right. I football don't want to get you good. in no type of trouble, but nah. who who did you who put the football in your hand? It was probably Sean. I would say Sean. Okay. So Sean like reason was Sean and, and Sad was playing before me. And that's okay. who I got a chance to go to their games and see. Right, when see. I was I was like the ball boy when they was playing at White Plains High. Mm. And they were nice and they were good. And I was like, man, I gotta play football. Yeah. So I'm in the crib with them. I'm playing football. I'm getting tough. I'm 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 doing my push-ups at a young age, yeah. and that's what I, that's what. But football was it. But we went to Greenberg, and Greenberg welcomed us with open yeah, arms. Yeah. I could say that for a hundred. We I slept over in Greenberg yeah, in definitely. the gym before big games. We had Dewey Raymond. Dewey, yeah, Dewey, yeah, Dewey, hell yeah. come on, Dewey hell was cooking yeah. our grits and eggs yeah, and all that right before yeah. the game. So those are Dewey that's was my coach. I, I just remember all of this, but vivid real memories of community out there in Greenberg too. Mm-hmm. So that I gotta give Greenberg a lot of credit and props for my growth early on. Yeah. Do you credit that? Because like your basketball style, you're very mm-hmm. tough. Like the, mm-hmm. the football background, football you play happened. like a football, football player. Yeah, like football, you just, because you every, contact, <laughs> mm-hmm. being able to get to the hole, get bumped and finish. Yeah, right. Not backing sturdy. down from nothing. Yeah, being sturdy, like I say, being sturdy. Mm-hmm. And that has been my consistent part of my life. Right. For all this time. All aspects, all of, aspects of it. Yeah. Football really did it because now you're not soft. See, you got basketball players and you got football and basketball players. Yes. And you know who's soft and who's not. 100%. I'm just keeping it real. Oh, you trust know who's me. soft and who's not. This has nothing to do with being physically wanting to fight. It means Mm-mm. when you're on the court or the field, you can't be soft. Yeah. That's what Van Dava used to always say about me. You running yeah. around having all these fights, you get on mm-hmm. the court and get knocked down by 100 pounders, like no technique, skill, all that shit going to play. You and, know? and Van not- Diver is my guy. It's funny you brought him up. <laughs> he was the man that he loved I me. went and worked out every summer with while I was overseas mm-hmm. that helped catapult my endurance. My game, yeah. I give all respect to Van Dyke, yeah, man. Definitely. That man is was my is my guide still to this day. Yeah. But all of my years of playing overseas and me coming back in the summer and doing my thing yeah. was with Van Diver. In yeah. the pool workout, 6 a.m., guess where? I used where? to see you. T- you used to be I was there. a lifeguard. You was right there. 6 <laughs> a.m., Van Diver, That's Greenberg in the pool. Yeah. People, the work that was put in, <laughs> yeah. it was something, man. You was, was there. You seen it. So I anything did. I say... I keep it all. This is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. And I got people that could vouch and say, you know oh, what? Nah, he nah, did nah. put that work in. It's receipts for everything there, you right? said. Everything, right? Van Diver, six in the morning was up. We doing pool workouts. You were there. Yeah. You, I, I, I saw seen it. you I multiple saw it. days. Come on, bro. Right? Six in the morning. After that, right to the gym. Yeah. Greenberg allowed yeah, that. Yeah. James Robinson. I yeah, can say he was the man, uh, the, the man holding it down at Greenberg yeah. at the time. Open door policy. Benji, open door policy. Mm-hmm. So I can only give credit. To the yeah. people that actually was not on no, because it's a lot of a lot of gatekeeping ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, for me, people have done it in a political way because I have became my own man and I've yeah. been strong as my own man. For sure. But growing up and seeing that I'm trying to push through. Yeah. Yeah. Those those are the people that helped me push through. Yeah. And I and I feel like I did the same by giving myself to them. Always can. Right. And come yeah. back and Always. do what I do for the kids. And that's why this is special because that's why I call you uh, what you are. It's not what I call you, a legend for real. And I appreciate you. You was a legend early on. Like a lot mm-hmm. of stuff I see, mm-hmm. you know, I see a lot. A lot of stuff that I see like within the last maybe mm-hmm. decade, I kind of saw you do a decade before that. That's you know real. That's, so that's some real I gotta, thing. I got to salute that. you with that. Like I said, when we talk about mm-hmm. just turning the summer up, mm-hmm. boat ride, everybody, yeah. everybody in the county. Mm-hmm. We, we, I damn near can say City been on a toy boat ride. We, we going to get there. We jumping yes. around, but right. it's just authentic. But, nah, you know, you've been doing shit, giving back situations mm-hmm. for kids. Yeah. And just everything that a, a, a poster child is supposed to, how you supposed to move. I appreciate that, you man, because I, I take pride in it. It's not, yeah. and it wasn't for no um, recognition either. You know yeah, that. Yeah, no, 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 genuine. The genuine, I love the kids. Yeah. And anywhere they come from, 
And I want to give back to the community that did help me get to these places. I've been over to 60 countries, mm -hmm. played 16 seasons overseas. This is my 17th year, and I'm still playing in Binghamton. Mm -hmm. I came home this year. But all the experience, all the people that I've seen, all the people that I touch, if I can't help a kid, boy or girl, come back and just show them a different path, because there's still a lot of negativity out here. <sighs> it's a lot it's of worse. people getting in trouble. Yeah. It's worse, and, and it's instant, because yeah. it's instantaneous on your phone, yeah. right? Because So anything that happened instantly, news had to travel, but now you could get just caught up in a disarray <sighs> fast. Yeah, one and, video and then, on you, you know, you, back then it was named Sick. Yes. You had to hear about Tori. Listen, Tori, I remember a show like mm -hmm. back in the day, you, Shanti. You know, yes. Certain names when you were young, yes. like, damn, Tori and Shanti about to go at it. Like, That's those right. was the things we was looking up to. Like, damn, this I couldn't wait to see them go head to head. Yeah. Which brings mm -hmm. me into that, man. Mm -hmm. When it comes to basketball, man, how old was you when mm -hmm. you, you know, when you crossed over from football to basketball? Yes. Did you get hurt? Like, what was it no. that made you transition? I, I, I played all the way to high school, and then I, when, when high school came, and I seen that. It wasn't giving many scholarships for football at Trinity College. I went to yeah. school in Stanford. Yeah. But basketball, you could get. I just said, you know that what, late? I'm focused on wow. Yeah, late. I played, okay. I played all the way through, man. Yeah. I, I love football. Like I said, I still wow. would play it to this day, If you know what I'm saying, if it was. But mm -hmm. that was the thing. And, and I, I was nine years old when I was playing basketball, for real. And 10, we went on to play in the national championship in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I, feel, I saw a Randy picture of y'all back in the days with E. Harp with the Harpers yes, and all. Is that Harper, that yes, legendary yes, picture yes, I'm talking that's about? That's the legendary picture. Yeah. You're talking, Randy Harper. Was the main guy him and um so it was Winbrook Pride, which is Winbrook yeah. is the projects yeah. in White Plains, right? Well, I, okay. yeah, right? That's they call it the, Winbrook yeah. Housing. Mm -hmm. Winbrook Daryl Jenkins had a Winbrook Pride. He teamed up with Randy Harper, okay. who took us as a Winbrook Pride team, basketball team, who all we did was practice. Mm -hmm. Everybody in Westchester, Greenberg wanted to be on this team. Had and he ball. and he made sure practice was hard. Every whoever could withstand practice could be on this team. So we finally make the team up and we travel to Green Bay, Wisconsin, my first flight ever. We end up winning, go 12 and two and win a national championship, 1996. Jerry Stackhouse on the cover of Slam, right? Do you see what I'm saying? And we're in Slam Magazine and we open up the Westchester Mall. We're cutting a ribbon. That's when it opened in 1996. That's the real, That's, that's all this is right the history. Yeah. And 1996, Westchester Mall that you see, in Westchester and White Plains, we opened that by being the small fries, up and coming guys that won in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Nobody know where Green Bay was. Yeah. We took a flight out there, we played in a national championship, national tournament, and won the national. Yeah, that's tough, man. Winbrook, kids that's from tough. only in the White Plains yeah. area that won it. That won that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a New York State team, nah. it was a White Plains team like that. At that age, man, like, what was that? What was that trip like going out there? Like, y'all kids, man. Kids, like, man. how did y'all know what like, to think? Did y'all even know what was going on, or y'all just being kids? Not, I, I couldn't tell you. I knew. I just knew we was going to play basketball. So that's all I cared about. Yeah. Thank God my mom let me go. Yeah. You know, Randy Harper was like a pops to us. He made sure everything was taken care of. Miss Easy, hey, she she was. Mm -hmm. The best she made sure Thomas Newkirk, yeah, my Tom, guy, yeah, for sure, my lived boy. on for as many years. My mm -hmm. guy, he was there as a chaperone as well and helped us. So, see, Thomas is part of the history Definitely. as well. We okay. all on these pitches, but nobody knew. I couldn't tell you nobody knew the special, how special that was. And Jerry Stackhouse, for y'all who don't know, man, he was, rookie of the he year, was the was man. Y'all yeah. love Jerry up him, until him yeah. and Jason Kidd, yeah, yeah. They, they, but Jerry Stackhouse, the man, but he was on the cover. We got like two or three page spread. In Slam, I still have the still, magazine. I'm yeah, you of you course, still got it. I still got it, and it, it circulates through the internet. Every I, now I definitely and then, saw it, right? I wasn't so there. we posted and all of that, yeah. and I, I'll post again, like you know, to say, yo, this day we did this, and it's legendary. That legendary. was the starting out early of what passion <laughs> means and saying, yo, I really love. I was yeah. still on my football thing, but basketball was like, whoa, oh, you could two. you could twelve and two, and Jay Harper broke Jawan Howard's scoring record out here. He was probably the best person I seen from. Sixth to eighth grade, like best basketball player I've seen with my own two eyes. Wow, that's big. Yep, I can say that. That's tough. You've seen yeah. a lot. I've of seen basketball. a lot, but the best I've seen, that's the tough. hardest to guard. Um, he was lefty. He was fluid. He had all, everything parts of his game. He was tenacious. He had all these older brothers, so mm -hmm. he was tough. Yeah, all the Harpers yeah. beating up on Definitely. him and making they, him they, tougher. They're big family, they're from big everywhere. family, <laughs> and he was that guy. Spanish Harpers, Black Harpers, yes, all kind everybody. of Harpers out there. Everybody's you know a Harper. Time it is. Yeah, for sure. You know what time Solid. it is, and that was that. We was part of the family. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that was that's just how it go. But that was my experience at 
10 to 11 years old. I remember I was in fifth grade yeah. at Church Street Elementary School, which is right up the street from Ferris. Yeah, you can walk I, I went to Church Street. I walked there. Yeah. Me and Suge walked there. Shug. Shout yeah. out to my nigga Suge. Me and Suge, that was the only two that went there. Everybody else went to George Washington from my block. So it was funny how we all lived on Ferris, but everybody went to George Washington, but our parents put us in Church Street. Oh, so they had the choice. They, I guess they had the choice yeah. because my mom put me in church, and that was the best thing because we could walk to school. The teachers was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of school, man, I was gonna ask you about like, like you know, school. How was school for you? What type of mm -hmm. student were you coming up? Like, yeah, you know, were I was you like I was, the, the student, the typical student athlete. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get by. I'm nice, man. I ain't really. Nah, gonna... I was, I was um, honor roll and national oh, honor shit. society. No <laughs> lie, honor roll and national honor society. Of course, I took that very seriously. Yeah. And my family, my mother did too. So mm. it was no. If you didn't do your homework, there's no plan going outside. So I learned early to get the homework done immediately so I got more time outside. I try to teach my kids that right? now. Do what you got to do, do so you do, do what you want. Yes. Oh, I have, she goal. gave me the freedom to do what I wanted yeah. once I did what I needed to do. And from Church Street to, I went to uh, uh, Highlands, mm -hmm. which is um, yeah. the middle school For Highlands. Sure. No AC in was, the gym. Yeah, That's went, cool. Yeah, Highlands. <laughs> so I went to Highlands, big up to Highlands, great school, sixth to eighth grade at the time. I did sixth to eighth grade there. Like I said, honor roll, and then went to training, took an entrance exam. Shout out to my coaches, um, Bill Walsh, okay, um, um, Joe Papalado. Mm. They they were the ones that brought me in yeah. to make sure I, I took this entrance exam, mm -hmm. and then I finally, I mean, I passed it, and it was like, yo, this might be a good opportunity. So I had a family, the O'Learys, yeah, and the Salvatores, who I, that's who I met in eighth grade when I played Don Bosco. And then I became family with them, so I'm I'm, I'm like a son. You had to be nice. Hilarious. Those names, like, yeah. come on, yeah, you had yeah, to be nice. If they less. take an interest, yeah, they, they, there, they for took sure. an interest in me, um, and I kept going, and mm -hmm. I just did my stuff. So right. if anything, if I wasn't gonna play basketball, I was going to school, I was yeah. going to college, yeah. and I was gonna probably go be, become a lawyer. I was gonna ask you, what that did you want to be I when you like mm -hmm. before you found you know yeah. basketball, football? What yeah. else did you want to be? A lawyer? Wow. Yeah, lawyer. Okay. I, I studied sociology and pre-law at Ooh. Holy Cross. I went to school at Holy Cross. So that's the high school. That, the, the, Trinity so, Catholic High Trinity, School. Trinity, okay. Which is, which is Trinity. A Stanford, I know it's Trinity. I'm bugging, yeah, it's my Trinity. man Brandon Moore. He played hockey there. My man Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trinity, yeah, and then and Britain went to Trinity too, I believe. Yeah, and then. After that, I went four years. Trinity went to four state championships, won two of them. So I was doing pretty well. Oh, then shit, yeah, then yeah. I got a full scholarship to Holy Cross College yeah, to Worcester, D1, Massachusetts, Division, Division One, one sure. Patriot League. We won a championship there. But from that, it was just learning that, yo, you could keep going. Your yeah. dreams are alive, yeah. man, alive and well. You just got to keep putting the work in. So I never really cared. I never, I never took no shortcut. I, I didn't make no excuses about nothing. I just kept going to work. When you say mom and three and, and two sisters mm -hmm. it's and you the only boy it's safe to say was you on mm -hmm. the spoiled side of things you like the baby well i was the baby but i wouldn't say spoiled I, I didn't let me tell you what it was i didn't have to cook or nothing because yeah. they, they was in the kitchen Absolutely. i'm not going but i was a boy i was outside they had yeah. to come get me from outside i got well, actually how did you adapt because so. you know with that much I, love yeah i got a lot how did you love. adapt that mindset of because, you know women you yes, know, when I got outside, I it was when I got outside, goals. I had to fend for myself. Mm. Like when you get outside, yeah. I had all, we all lived in we all lived in seventy and one fifty four. But seventy was seven J me, eight eight Shug, uh, five G Steph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your head was five, hey. five L. <laughs> yeah. Dom is eight L. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We all, E was three C. Y'all can remember like mm -hmm. stuff e like that. Yeah. So we, all of us is together. Together, and yeah. Rest in peace, mouth. mouth. I used to always see y'all together. You know that. That's, yeah. that's my brother. He actually spent most of his time at college with me, living wow. in the dorm with me. Wasn't attending the school. Wasn't attending, Just coming to class, man. chilling, but with me. Yeah. And really holding me down and and that's one thing about you, man. I love mm -hmm. about y'all too. Y'all never got involved with with the politics or the mm -hmm. geographics. Y'all always show love. That's we might fun. come up to Ferris. You might get jumped. You mm -hmm. might get grilled. You know, you see Tori and Mel, which is also Mel. Yeah. They gonna say what up. You get a handshake out of them, man. That, that's the truth. I yeah. never, I never once even got into nothing with that. Cause what I look like fighting my man or my family that look like me, and we trying to make it out of here. Right, I'm trying to make it out of here, and I don't only make it out of here where I'm saying I'm abandoning my place, but me making it out, it was able to come back and give oh, yeah. back. Oh, so yeah. I have to make it out. I'm fighting for what? What are mm -hmm. we talking about? Because you live in Greenbrier, I'm gonna live in White Plains. Yeah. It's nuts to me. Yeah. But that was my mentality at an early age, and as long as nobody did nothing to me, which nobody did, yeah, nah. I was good for sure. Because I show love to yeah. everybody. You know yeah. how Greenbrier really rock with me. Definitely, I could say that. What? 
You know come what I'm saying? Come on, man. Greenberg Absolutely. really rocks with Blood me. So yeah, come yeah. on, man. They really, and I actually lived, me and my, we lived in Greenberg for, for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crib in Greenberg yeah, and all for that. Sure. So. We ain't gonna give you, ooh, we ain't gonna yeah. give you out of street because, yeah, you know, you, but, now, you, you know got fans saying? now. Yeah, yeah so, <laughs> they know it. But I'm saying, that's why it didn't make sense to me. So when stuff, I'm big on things making sense to me. Yeah. I'm not a dude that does stuff because I'm doing it for a cause. Wow. Okay. Not because, mm -hmm. but a cause. A like cause. it got to be a yeah. cause while I'm trying to do it. If I'm fighting and I'm doing that, it's for real. Definitely. I'm not just. I never grew up like that, and yeah. we have many fights amongst each other on Ferris. Definitely, I'm sure. You feel me? Yeah. That's, like I see some of them. So yeah. I'm it's fifty thousand. Yeah. I haven't seen. Exactly. We have many million. fights, so fighting yeah. was not part. You had to learn how to fight, yeah. and I, I'm. I feel like I'm make sure I hold my own on all because I've been across the world. Yeah. You got to be. That's you got to be solid. As a person, who I am and I'm sitting there talking to you has got to be who I am when I'm in Europe. Yeah. And I'm talking to these other people that don't even speak my language. And that, I, I, I saw I'd be liking to talk to people like you and other people because we got this big misconception on tough mm -hmm. or what we think war is. And yeah. a lot of you guys that been through, that traveled and just been through other walks, y'all fighting a completely different yeah. fight. It's not a fight for the weak. It's a fight... Not too many people up there even fighting with y'all. No. Y'all are really uh, outnumbered up there. That's right. So it's our job to get there, to give y'all some help, because we down here fighting a small fight. Y'all yeah. fighting a whole different fight. You done been in meetings yeah. and offices and Definitely. political parties and here, there, there, in different countries, man. That's yeah. a whole different level of boldness and, and, and courage. You know what I'm saying? Right. That uh, it might break the average tough nigga in the hood. It, it could. Yeah. Being away, first of all, breaks anybody. The right. toughest person wants to. The toughest person that loves their block and loves their cities and all mm -hmm. that can't leave. Yeah. That's what their identity is. Yeah. I never wanted to make my identity about where I'm from. Wow. I love where I'm from and I'm going to big up where I'm from. But I would have missed out all these opportunities on what life is about. <sighs> Going to these different countries. I've been in Russia. They could tell you all the stuff about Russia. Russia wasn't like that. Russia was for real. Russia was official. I was in Moscow and Vladivostok <laughs> chilling, <laughs> yeah. playing basketball, life. Comfort. I got the Russian hats. I'm going into the Red Square. Everybody's rocking with me. They want to know what bought me. They're talking to me. Yeah, it wasn't the block like with you. Us. Yeah. You gotta go stand Without, on that. You gotta stand on that yourself. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta immerse yourself in a culture. Once you immerse yourself in their culture. It's more respect because you're not just a, an American coming over there playing ball and don't care about nothing that they got going on. I've seen people the go custom. over there and come right back home. That's man. right. I've seen it. Some of the best athletes. The best. In, yeah, in the world. In the I've world. seen they can't. They can't so, adapt. I mean, talk about that. Um, did you graduate college? Yeah, I graduated. Oh, graduated. Yeah, okay, bachelor's matter, I'm degree. bugging. You said he was yeah. about to be a lawyer. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, bachelor's degree. I didn't graduate yeah, college. Yeah, so. no, that's all right. But um, right. that decision mm -hmm. um, to go overseas... Um, was that an easy decision for you, or was that a hard decision? No. What's some things that you did? When you have a dream and mm -hmm. you feel like whatever it is to make this dream happen. So my dream was to play professional basketball. Of course, NBA is the first. So I had a workout, four of them, New York Knicks, New that. Jersey Nets, Boston Celtics, and Utah Jazz. Four NBA workouts coming out of Holy Cross. They were still New Jersey Nets at the New, time. New, New Jersey, not yeah. Brooklyn. Okay, right. 2007. Yeah. Never forget it. Pre-draft. I'm on the board. I'm able to work out with these guys. I think um, it was Thaddeus Young. I worked that out. Is. He got picked like 12th pick. So mm -hmm. I was in the. I did well. I ended up saying you could take this G League, D League at the time it was D, not G, D League at Erie, yeah. Pennsylvania. That was mm -hmm. the Knicks affiliate for like twelve thousand dollars, or you could go yeah. play overseas and, and just make life. some more money. And I played overseas, and it did well for me. And I kept going, but I got called back by the Knicks again. Two more times. So I had a chance a couple of times to at least try to make a roster or whatever. It didn't happen for me, but my dream was alive. And mm -hmm. I was able to make some money, play ball. Like I said, immerse in culture, meet people, yeah. enjoy my time. And none of this was easy because I'm by myself. No kids, no woman, no nothing. By mm, myself literally. every day, literally. Gilligan. God mm. damn. Yeah. So, so <laughs> well, every day. And I, you just learn I, so to that's what, so and be. We got to give the people some. Cause that's, I mean, I know people who prisoners who say who had the same when they read out like different things that they going through mentally. It sound like almost what you went through, even mm -hmm. though it wasn't prison. Yeah, it wasn't it was that, open. but it still can be hard on the mental. It's hard. Like so, that's why like, you said what, people go. Yeah, and they they, and they come, come right back, right back. I, or they, they they have a conversation with their mom. Oh, or, and man. then it's homesick. Yo, that homesick. 
Oh, I was homesick plenty of times, but my dream and my aspirations outweighed anything about coming home. What I'm going to do coming home? Yeah, Ain't what? no pro team here. I didn't get picked yeah. up out back in America. Yeah. So let me stay I'm here. Get it. Let me, yeah, let me fight for what I believe in and believing in myself. I bet on myself. Was that a situation? Was that hard on Mama Love? How did she take me? No, she took it because she knew her son. She, she knew, knew her baby boy. She knew her son, and her son held it down, right, right for her. And that's important, too. Right. Um, energy is very contagious. Mm -hmm. So sometimes your reaction to something... You got to hold it down to ease your loved yeah. one's mind. So if you yes. complaining if you was, and folding, yes. mom going, you would have stressed you to stress the whole family. Right, out. family was good. Like they and they and they was proud of me. And also, what mom was, she was she was never allowed me to just. You know, if people complain about a, a coach or the team, nah, yeah. she ain't want to. Yeah. She ain't trying to hear that. Nah. She, you you could make you make it better. You fortunate to be doing this. You make it better. You 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 mm -hmm. stand on what you saying. As long as nobody was just totally mistreating me. Yeah, she didn't care. Even when I was a young kid, I'm crying after games. She, yo, you good? But not crying because somebody did something. We're crying because the passion to win and yeah. you lose. People don't know what it means to be like, yo, you want it that bad. And when you want it that bad, you got to go find a way to get it that yeah. bad. Yeah. When you want it that bad, you got to get it. Yeah, that's and that's deep. what I learned. That feel not, I don't want to lose nothing. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Since a kid. Since a kid, I don't want to lose nothing. Yeah. Crying about video games. They always laugh and joke at me now. Like, I used to cry and want to <laughs> take my video game away. And I had to learn how to win and win with, 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 with um, grace, lose with dignity. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Win with grace, meaning you ain't got to, you don't got to go in somebody's face and be on and all of that. Yeah. You could win and say, I've been here before. I'm yeah. a winner. For sure. And when you lose, you don't got to be a sore loser. You could stick to yourself and give props to credit due. Yo, y'all have played a great game. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get the next one. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. Right? That's a, that's a, that's a Win with grace, lose with dignity. I like that. That's elite. That's yeah, that's a good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and we he, he's definitely, if you've seen him play, mm -hmm. an excellent team player. Thank you, bro. Appreciate um, that. When it comes to basketball, man, who are some, some of your influences? Um, people we mm -hmm. know and people, you know, who are famous. Well, like. well, everybody, you know, see, you know what's funny? Grimmer has some of the best type of players, oh, for though, because sure. you got you know Danny, Danny Abrams, you got Otis Hill. You had uh, Team Tyrone Force. You had sure. these guys that I, I heard. I'm a <laughs> I'm a studier of the game, yeah. so I'm really big on. The, you had Crabby Young out of New Rochelle. Hey, you had boy. come on, you had my guy. So you got guys that was like that I that I seen. You know what I'm saying? White Plains. They had Kyle um, Jones, Kareem Washington. They all a few Old years Washington older than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you seen you got you see a Ben Gordon come out of yeah. nowhere. They're a couple years older. Westchester has some you ever went at it with Ben? No. Never crossed paths in that way. Nope. Mm -hmm. Never never played against him or nothing. Ben don't play in the summer circuits, as yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, nah. And Ben was just in the NBA doing yeah. what he did. See him at the county center. Yeah, and I was remember like I was younger yeah. and I was I went to school in Stanford. Yeah. So I missed the county center part of it yeah. because I never went to White Plains. And that was another thing. Um, did any part of you being from White Plains might be a, a tough question mm -hmm. or a question you've nobody ever asked you before, but being from White Plains, was it ever, was it ever a goal of yours to be coached by Mayfield? Did you ever feel like you wanted him to coach? You, you didn't come from mm -hmm. up under that circuit. No, you know what's funny? Um, I know that he's probably an excellent coach. Yeah. Um, I got to give credit what credit do. He was a scout. Sure. Utah Jazz of him from what okay. I was mistaken. Oh, wow. So he was an NBA scout for... 20 right. plus years. Right. He knows the game, X's and O's. You got Jersey at 1994 team and the 1999 team. Mm -hmm. I know all of the players on there. So I watched, went to those games. Yeah. You know, Jarek Harris and, mm -hmm. and, and Jermaine Youngs and mm -hmm. those guys. They, I watched. So he coached okay, two so state championships. Yeah. But for me, it was more about you got to catch me early. People yeah. caught me early and, <laughs> and loved yeah. and, and, and right. showed interest. Yeah. So I think if you catch people early mm -hmm. and see why would I, I probably wouldn't have went somewhere else because I would have had a relationship with them early like yeah. what Mount Vernon and Semino do mm -hmm. and other coaches do. Catch your guys early. See okay. what's going on in the community yeah. and who's playing ball so you could make them grow together and keep the teams together so it would be more champions out yeah. here. Because you, you got champions only come through how many good players you have sure. that you could mold and gel together. Yeah. That's what champions is about. Yeah. It's not hand picking one at a time. Mm -hmm. It's you could grow from sixth grade all the way in. Yeah. Your senior year, you could be going to section, getting a gold ball and going to the states, right? That's yeah. you can grow. So no, I, I didn't I to say no, it, it didn't even cross my mind in that right. way. Would I love to be in White Plains? Possibly because 
that's where I'm from, and yeah. County Center's in my backyard, and I wanted to win some championships here. For sure. That would be dope. You, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. me, Marcus. I, we, yeah. we had a team. What? We had teams <laughs> over there. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, growing up, who were some of the toughest people you played against? You don't strike me as a guy that was nervous right. or scared or fearful. You strike me as you want to, you want the best thing on the team. Yeah. But uh, even mm-hmm. coming up throughout the years of uh, your travels through basketball, like who were some of them names where it's like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going out tonight. I got to lock in. I yeah, gotta all in. I didn't do a lot of partying when I was just none of this because mm. we, we blocked in to, to playing like Saturday Saturdays or Friday nights, they had like Slater Center parties. Yeah. I might have went to one or two of them if I could. Damn, so, yeah, they had a lot That's of them tough. back in there. But but Saturdays was going to open gym at Church Street or going to practice with 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 Mr. Harper and, and his. Like I said, Jay Harper was one of the toughest matchups for anybody in, yeah. in our age group. And uh, mm-hmm. and then you got Problem Aaron yeah. from New Rochelle. You know all the same. Sure. And we ended up becoming real close friends mm-hmm. and playing together for Team Nine One Four, which yeah. became a whole movement within itself of for all sure. of us. Coming together, Westchester, all of us playing. Kirk, mm-hmm, William Kirk sure. from Greenberg, yeah. that's my guy. Team Jeff special. McDermott, we had a special yeah. team. Joe Mobile, yeah. I could keep. The, our team was was real of real dogs, mm-hmm. and we played together. Yeah. Shout out to Coach K. Bourne at a New Rochelle, sure. our coach, and yeah. Sean Oliver. Those mm-hmm. are our coaches. We had we had teams. I'm, I hate to miss names, but we had a we yeah, had definitely. rock teams. You know, yeah. you know, like I said, Problem, Joe Mo, myself. We had Marv McCullough, who was out of the Bronx, but he was with us in 914. We had Kyle Cuff Sr. He was there. Like I said, Jeff McDermott. We had we had played and we Damn. we brought we gelled the team together that really went down to New York City and was busting, and was NBA busting everybody, yo. NBA yes. guys. Yes. It's footage. It's, on it's footage. Everything's Some on people, YouTube. Yeah, it's there. You see Jeff Duncan yeah, on KD. Yeah. You've seen it. Oh, he said you it. We, had ten, we won $10,000 multiple to like two or three times in the summer. 10000 as a team. We beat Team Nike. We won Gun Hill tournaments. We won Orchard Beach tournament. We won Dykeman. It's in the books. Rutgers, that team is 145th. in the books. We're in the books yeah. for sure. We should be talking and about this team footage. 50 years yeah, down the line. Definitely. Like, and that, we should have like a little doc about yeah. how that came together mm. and why Westchester was brought together by a basketball team because Greenberg will come around. White Plains will come around. New Rochelle will come around. Mount Vernon will come around. Everywhere. Yonkers will come around. Everybody will come around and, and be together. Yeah. For the cause. And, wa- and just come watch yeah. the games. They would love to go to Dykeman, love yeah. to go to Rucker. Yeah. And we had swarms of people coming from Westchester. They, they knew Team 914 was in the building. And I feel like that was the most, uh, I, I don't be liking to speak for different times I ain't come up mm-hmm. in, but it was a lot of Westchester. When y'all yes. was playing, it Westchester was. was outside. Big. And it, was, it brought was Westchester there. together. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. always individual city I, to yeah, city. I, I, I feel like it brought us together. It definitely. It to, was, to, to, to Come watch our team, and we was hitting those New York City teams, buzzing. and they was like, Who, "Who's we upstate? Who are these? Yeah, people? they upstate. We yeah. not upstate. We nah. 30, 40 minutes away. We at right the most. here. We right. And we tonight, right here. this is what we doing. This no what matter we doing. where we, you know what I'm saying? That's, That's tough. Fact. Um, mm-hmm. when you talk about basketball for you, what does basketball mean to mm-hmm. you? Because you somebody who took basketball mm-hmm. and just created a whole garden around basketball. We're going to get into you as the businessman, Tori, who's... I'm going to let you tell it. But, like, basketball, for the next up-and-coming basketball player or somebody who wants to take this yeah. seriously, you know, what does it mean to you and what's some things you got to be ready to, to endure yeah. to make it to that point? No, basketball was, was just... It was everything to me. It's still everything because it, it opened up so many avenues. If you take this game seriously and put the work in and you put your head down and grind... It could open up many doors for you to be a businessman if that's what you choose to do, to be able to go travel the world if that's what you choose to do, to make it on teams that you didn't think people probably thought you couldn't make it on, to have love for something, to be able to show that, okay, I can do this and I came from here yeah. and I can, somebody else could come and say, I came from here and for I could sure. do that. And just being able to open up doors as businessman to be able to be 30 years old and have my own restaurant, pick and roll soul, right on Maranick <sighs> Avenue, young black man, probably people couldn't believe nothing like that. Believe. But when you believe in yourself and you got a support system that say, yo, what you want to do? All right, let's try to make it happen. We needed it. We needed it for everybody. Yeah. We needed a soul food restaurant for comfort for mm-hmm. us, for vibe, yeah. for camaraderie, yeah. we needed it. Yeah, and I felt it. like we, we could have filled that void. And I still feel like, even though circumstances happened, yeah. that was 
out of my unfortunate, control, yeah. unfortunate, that we still need it. Still yeah. in Westchester County, there's no soul food restaurant that we could come chill at yeah. and enjoy. Yeah. A family atmosphere. And Ferris well. did, brings, I don't know what it is with Ferris and Fish, man. Shout out to something fishy. Yes. Which you is know, family. Big you Brad. Know you know, Brad, shout out yeah. to Brad. I remember that. And then you come with Pick and Roll, which just yes. took it to the whole, a whole nother level. Like you said, you go get a meal. Yeah. You go get your free, go find you, you know, a baby mom's at the yeah. zone. You do, like, you go have a family. You can score. That's what you can do a whole, you yeah, run the pick and roll. You can so, score for real. Right? He named his restaurant after that. You know, the boy loved ball, man. Right. Used to sleep with your basketball and all that type of All that. Yeah. To sit, lay on my back and shoot hundreds of jump shots on my back, where you just put them in the back, and that keeps your form right. See, I did that. I, basketball is everything, but to go on yeah. why pick and roll matter to mm -hmm. me and everybody else is because it takes a team effort to run a pick and roll correctly for sure Ooh. for you to score. It takes a team effort to run a pick yeah. and roll correctly. I named it strategically through basketball, but for everybody to know that you got a piece in this thing. You got a piece of this. If you yeah. want to believe in this, this wasn't, this is Tory's spot. It had nothing to do with Tory. Mm -hmm. I had to put up, I put up the bread, did everything. Sure. But I wanted everybody to have a piece of this because this was, this is historic stuff yeah. to be on Mamaroneck Avenue and White Plains. That was, that was deep. Right. You know, we know, you know, who, who, who yeah, runs, who runs that, that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was big. Yeah. That was colossal. Um, when you talk about, uh, what was your first business? After, as a basketball, like what was the first thing you got into after, you know, you got your first, I ain't going to say your mm -hmm. first, but, you know, your, your yeah. basketball check. When well, the my, basketball buddy started here, first what, you just go for the car wash? Yeah, no, my going, first. Man? Nutcrackers? Yeah, nah. <laughs> Take time. The first thing was, like, actually doing the nonprofit. Oh, wow. Yeah, the nonprofit for the kids. That's yeah, right. New York Blaze. That oh, was yeah. the first. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So it's all still the same, but now they call it Gold Tory All-Stars because okay. I put, like, yeah. My face to the you brand. You a brand yeah, now, Yeah, now bro. I'm a brand. So be real. at least people could identify that I know my basketball stuff. I try to help yeah. the kids grow and develop into good basketball people, but more importantly, good human beings. Mm. And our, our motto is life skills through sport. Yeah, so, you see I what like I'm saying? That. So that yeah. was the first thing I did yeah. then. Um, I think I did uh, like a clothing store because I had my clothing thing. So just things. And then... um. Yeah, I remember the logo to Go Tory joints, man. With them joints, yeah, I saw I need to throw right. back Go Tory joints, man. Yeah, we got, I'm gonna have to put those back yeah, out. So to, right yeah. now, only the that's kids have it, but it is history. Yeah. I have um, um, that still on deck, yeah. and the kids like we have multiple teams for Go Tory All Stars. What we had, so we just trying to keep that going and have them still just keep developing. We mm -hmm. start at a young age, eight years old, all the way up to like the 17 year olds. Yeah. Y'all change so many lives. Like every kid, it's not too many. You bumping, I'm pretty sure you bumping the kids all the time that yeah. you had parts in at some point. Right. It's, that's, that's amazing, man. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful feeling because you see them grow yeah. and you know that they really needed an opportunity. Yeah. And if you could give that opportunity, sky's the limit for people. And you never forget, like you said, you, how you, you know, one pushing 40 now and you still talking about Coach Lucky, Coach Dewey. Yeah. You, you don't forget that kind no. of level of impact, no, nope. especially at that age. Exactly, that's amazing. You get a chance to be, uh, yeah, you know, one of those guys, yeah, man. that could come back and reach back, yeah, and, and grab some kids and, yeah, let them know that I'm still here, for no sure. matter what. I've been thousands of miles away mm -hmm. for years and I'm still here. What's your favorite? One of your favorite countries that you yeah. So my to. a few of my favorites that I've been to is um definitely Italy, mm. Greece, um Poland, right, Holland, right. Sweden. So I got multiple <laughs> I, man. All of them was gold. Egypt I've been to. Oh, wow. Tunisia. Mm -hmm. I, I had a ball, man. And yeah. you know, and I I knew I kept basketball as my focus and consistent and play hard and made sure I was doing my job. But I explored. I traveled yeah, I'm a sure lot you did. and just enjoyed myself. Yeah, and enjoyed the experience and never took anything for granted. Yeah, that's amazing. Never man. took nothing for granted. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Like for real. Um, as we start to wrap things up, man, I want to get your opinion, man. What's your opinion on Ferris now? And mm -hmm. for you, what, what would you say was your littest summer on mm -hmm. Ferris to you? Like you know, this oh, summer, man. This, this is it. So growing up. The Ferris League was still good. It always. Was just always been good. It's just um, I think that the rules of the of of 
the world changed. Mm-hmm. When you can smoke and drink without nobody <laughs> running up on you, police <laughs> coming up on you, that changed the dynamic. For sure. With no violence yeah. going on, that's yeah. why Ferris World Ball is really great. Because Ferris is a nice, attractive place, a big park. Yeah. You could be doing anything in there, chilling, talking to them, doing it over there, going over there, nobody bothering Beautiful. you, and the police not running up on you. See, back then... You couldn't do all of that, so yeah. you had to be strategic with it. <laughs> yeah, you had to go oh, with oh, yes. and he, tw- you, know, you don't have to do that now. So back then, though, I was 17 years old. I got in the league as an adult, playing in the adult league at 16. Lost in the like semifinals. The I was pouting. Herc was the coach. Okay. Dunk. Uh, yeah, yeah, Herc yeah. was the coach. <laughs> we, we laughed about it to this day because I was pouting most of the game. I didn't get no playing time. And I got in, and I missed like a half-court shot to win it. But he believed in me to say, yo, you could take that half-court shot and all of that. So Herc was like that. The next year, KO, who, of KO. course, he's the main person mm-hmm. besides. So KO, like when you ask, like, grow it up, he's the main guy that kept me under, yeah, talking about taking me when I was young mm-hmm. underneath his um coat, yeah. when he was coat and bringing me yeah. places. A he, guy. he was the coach now. Pumpkin made him the coach, and we ended up assembling a team. Me, grass, I was the youngest one. I was 17. We ended up winning the championship. We dethroned New Rochelle, which had all of them. Crabby horse, crabby problem. All of them. Problem was younger than, but Joe which Clark, Hindu, Nakia Miller. They even brought Kareem Reed up from the Harlem, from Harlem to come play against Who's us. Who was on your we team? Left, and we had me, Kareem. We had Haas, we had Grasshopper. We had um DVD Grasshopper. We had Dion, rest in peace. Yeah, Dion, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Dion, the, uh, DVD Grasshopper yeah. was back then when he was jumping out the gym. Dion, okay. right. like the, you know, yeah. my rest in peace to my brother. Rest in peace, we Dion. had we we had a squad, but it was well put together. Yeah. And I was MVP. It's Damn. my block, 17, 17 years old. And I, I think I won like eight straight after that. Eight chips? How many eight chips you I got, got like, total? I got at least like 10 or 12. Cause I switched from Ferris team right, real to chips my young team. Home court advantage chips. No, nah, everything was real. Baby. Uh, everything. Uh, 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 and everything was real. Cause yo, you got to play the game. Yeah. Ain't no, we don't, we don't know them. I don't talk to them refs and I ain't no home court. Yeah, for us. I don't know. Say, no, I'm just telling you us. Yeah, like uh, you know. we play the game and whoever the, like, the best. <laughs> J Rob. I used to yeah. see a lot of J Rob. Yeah, yeah. So J Rob from Greenberg. So you see what I'm saying? Jeff Wilson he from I Greenberg see, again. Yeah, yeah, right. These are Greenberg <laughs> These are natives. Greenberg natives. You know, they not. They know, just been, ain't nobody getting paid under the table. <laughs> I okay. just, you know, I've but, seen things. Yeah, right, I hear so. you, but every, everything that we did <laughs> I love y'all, know, man. I just nah, see I, I no, see violent we, yeah. episodes behind their calls. It, it just used to get I'm, rough. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which but is, no, I'll joke side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, those, yeah, but that's, yeah. and then, that, but each summer, family day was lit, like, <sighs> like it is that you see now. And I got video to show you that, <laughs> people behind the fence. So, yeah, we, Ferris World Ball, shout out to um, um, Kev. Yeah. Higgs and Oopy and them mm-hmm. and everybody part of Kesey. Yeah, They're sure. all Ferris. They all it's understand love. and it's all passing the baton. And I'm still able to go out there. You still play, out there playing? I some saw fun. You, we yeah. made it to the chip again. Yeah. That's another chip that we made it to after for you know sure. what I'm saying, being down for for years of yeah. just getting it together with the whole. But I'm I'm very happy and proud of mm-hmm. Ferris and what's going on. And Ferris is in good hands with what's going on. Yeah. And I brought my talents down. To the projects, Winbrook, where I put a court there because I they needed that. it. Yeah. They need the court. Yeah. The kids down there had nowhere they were getting boxed in. That's tough. So now we're I'm down there a lot. Yeah. Ferris is good. They go, Ferris you know I'm great. always gonna be on Ferris. I'm Ferris native. But I had to go bring my stuff down there and say, yo, there's hope here, yo. Y'all might can't make it up to Ferris. That's a walk. Kids is too young, come part play here. That's so dope. I spend time down there too. Yeah. So that's what it that's, is. That's real OG type stuff, man. You know, when you when you just talk about the, what the OG is supposed to be, come back, man. Yeah, come and back. You man. always you like Robin Hood, man. You always touch the people, man. man. That's one thing you 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 Tori's gonna is gonna touch the people, and that's that's what's what's dope about you. And I hope Thank you you, you know you know well. You. You've been doing this so long. You don't need me to tell you. you know what I mean, yeah. definitely. Yeah. The community need more leaders like no that because the leaders is getting younger and younger and stupider and stupider. That's right. So that's you right. know, it's, it's good to see. 
you know, and that's just like I said about Ferris once again, that makes Ferris so special. Mm -hmm. And the young boys even said this, guys mm -hmm. who's barely 21, they said, yeah. that's the first thing they said, you know, we got real structure, real OGs. Yeah. It's generations, like, yeah. a family that's just locked in. That's a fact. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. You don't see too many. We, and Greenberg they, is something like not that, too. Out of, yeah, they're not getting out of hand up yeah. there on Ferris. Nah. Right? We're not allowing that. Yeah. When we see something get out of hand, we got to handle it. Yes, things happen, oh, yeah. but as far as you just messing up the whole structure of things, yeah, nah. thinking that you come in and doing that, we don't allow that. I wonder who started that structure yeah, up there, because that's, that's some real black pants. You should yeah. be read. We should read that in a book somewhere. Such and yeah, such came to Ferris. definitely got a structure, though. Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to ask them questions, actually, that you just said, because there was people before, the people that I even know that started, that they said was up there yeah. making sure people were good. Yeah. And like you hear about the tours. Yeah, of course. But it's people about KOs, too. Even yeah. KOs. And then rest in peace. I work with my man, yes. Corey Snipes, man. Mr. Yeah, Snipes. Mr. He just, Snipes. His man Snipes just passed, passed away. away. Like, you, you just hear about... Snipes Ferris. Yeah. Mr. Snipes Ferris. Yeah. But for 60 years. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> It's a snipe. They Corey live, Ferris snipes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's we all of, live in the same building. And then Ferris, I got five bedroom apartments in there. They man. got a four. The most is four. 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 Yeah. He told the, me something. The, I'm the like, yo, oh, damn, that's dope. The most is four, but those are the uh, those are the M's. The yeah. M line is all fours. That's tough. Yeah, four. Which it's is still which like is that. Tough. Still the same thing. Damn, man, I need to get me four. a spot up yeah, in there. Yeah, four man. big, and they got we got good sized bedrooms, and yeah. they not making the places like that no more. Yeah. They making a the small congested. But we had nice. So we, I was in a three bedroom, nice, mm. nice. Three it was bedroom good. Yeah, yeah, I was up. doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Three bedroom. Um. Last question, man. Um, we talk about death is a, a hard thing. I, for me personally, death is probably the hardest thing for me to deal with just because, you know, I, if if something got to happen, I'd rather be the one to mm -hmm. have to endure it before I watch. That mm -hmm. is comes, it's too unexpected. Yeah. So when it comes to, you know, the loss of your mom and from what mm -hmm. I gathered from you at then this interview, like, you know, that's, that was a huge part of your, your rock. That's, yeah. That was your rock, your support system. How, what are some things that you do? Because I've seen people mm -hmm. lose loved ones close to them and completely spiral. Right. What's some things you do to stay focused? I, I listen going to that her kind of because pain? Um, she said a lot. She showed me a lot of lessons and stuff. And she said, when I was a little bit younger, she was like, when I'm dead and gone, you're going to remember the things I'm telling Damn, you. That's she tough. Used to say that, that's hard to hear. She used to say that to me. Like, yo, when I'm gone, you're going to know that you did this and you did some great things and <sighs> you was this. But she... What, what my main thing is I held on because while I was while she was here was here I knew that I honored my mom yeah so I that's what mattered to me I honored my mom and I was there for my mom and she was there and we had a great relationship we could do whatever travel she I brought her place she get you know yeah. what I'm saying she loved you she, yeah it was it was some Ms. real genuine yeah she yeah. was and she was just a just a great I couldn't ask for nothing better so. I only I hold on to all the memories and 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 what she spoke to me about and you know right from wrong be careful make sure this all that just comes in my head and it's not a time that I don't yeah. think about her I'm sure. throughout the day it's never like a day that went past and I said damn I didn't think about mom today no every day and stuff that I'm going through I could just hear her say yo it's gonna be all right or yo do this make sure you're doing this and check this and so she was strong. And she held it down, and that's what makes me keep going and not spiral because she wouldn't have wanted me to do no spiraling. She wanted me to stay up and keep going. Yeah. I have tough days, yeah. birthdays, and holidays that I have to reminisce and think, but I just go to my archives that I got yeah. in my heart and in my brain. Do you take time to yourself? Is that something like this? Yeah. Solitude? Yeah, definitely. Because there's no replace. It's no, like, it's damn. never a replace. It's like, how could you? Oh it's no God. replace. It's not, it's not even yeah. close to replace. But yeah, solitude and... Thoughts, yeah, and the, thoughts. The mind that, is powerful. Yeah, it is, yeah. and your heart, mm -hmm. because what, what's in your heart is gonna make sure you. you it's gonna always be in your heart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And she got a chance to see you blossom into yeah. everything she raised. Like you, were a successful black mm -hmm. man, bro. Thank you. Early, man. yeah, and so, she she we, instilled that. Yeah, and she's seen, like you said, she she was able to see me from everything. Graduate from high school, graduate from college, go oh. pro, yeah. be pro. Make sure she's good in her crib up yeah. there. Yeah, and Mohica, yeah. Mm -hmm. make sure things are in order, and I did my best. Yeah, that's tough, man. Shit, yeah, man, thank man. you, family. I appreciate it's, you. It's, it's like you really the yeah. uh, when you think of Ferris, man, you one of the first five people that you think about, and this that says a lot. Well, for me, no doubt, that says a lot because there's a lot of yeah, you know, legendary figures like because even the street figures, 
are legends to me because you know I'm not mm-hmm. really with just um, a fact, praising man. the guys who I just met and yeah. uh, I gotta go to when I was becoming who I was mm-hmm. the people who helped me then that's you know right. what I'm saying that's so right. you know my legend list is a little different than everybody Every, some people legends they might go straight to Jay Z right nah. nah I'm going straight to the right. center like with my yeah. legend list like you know what I'm, saying? I'm the same way it's a little bit different people that really me. help mold you yeah. and and talk to you. You can't talk to these other legends that yeah, people yeah. talk about, but you could talk. Like, we could come back, and if anything, you know that people could call, yeah, holler at me for yeah. anything, right? Like, mm-hmm. just one message was like, yo, we need to make it happen. The next day, we made it happen. Yeah. When you hit me up, we made it happen the next day. Yeah. Only real recognize real to make things happen. Yeah. Other people could put you on the back. People, oh, back. Yo, I got to do. Nah, man. I know how important it is, and I know mm-hmm. what you have transformed yourself to be. Yeah. You keep going, because right. you're you doing major things, and... These platforms that you got for people is beautiful, man. Yeah, I appreciate even that. Even for somebody when they see these clips, yeah. it's gonna be they you don't know, even a lot of people don't even know where Tory's really about. They yeah. gotta hear me. Yeah. They just know of other people talking. And about that's why me. with these interviews, I'll be seeing, I watch a lot of people different. We just be jumping to mm-hmm. to be almost like dehumanized people. And yeah. It's like, damn, like he ain't just wake up. You might just wake up and see him on a flyer that's from a right, boat ride man. of 2011. His story started in the 80s, man. Yes, His struggle, yes. y'all didn't get a chance to see that part. That's the truth. So I'll be needing struggle. y'all to speak on it because, like I said, now with the youth, Ooh, they the struggle, think it's man. not that. They yes. think y'all just woke up and nah, you just put work in. And became, even like you asked about my mom, she yeah. worked two jobs her whole life. So, on, so she, yeah, she's it was a struggle. You've seen right? it. I didn't. I didn't. Never went hungry. You didn't but we feel didn't it, have, but you yeah, saw but it. I saw it. Right. Never was hungry. I can't ever say we didn't have food on the table. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't. We wasn't getting things and yeah. doing. No, you had to wait till birthdays and all. That's and money has to be saved up, but. You saving for Christmas and New Year's. Yes. I got to get ready for this, That's this right. Christmas That's, coming yes. up. And my birthday in February. So, you know, our Christmas too. and then that. And then it might not be nothing until, yeah. you know what I'm the saying? The birthday, you can't overdo it. Like, no. all right, we're going to overdo the Christmas. Your birthday, you just chill. That's right. Yeah, we figure it out. We figure it out. And that's that's even dope. And she always figured it out. Yeah. And my sisters did, too. They mm-hmm. held it down, Shout too. Shout out to your sisters, both right. of them. Uh, nephews and all yeah, that. My nephew, he's amazing. He's yeah. an amazing kid. Sure. He, he really... Followed in the footsteps. Mm-hmm. I mean, he saw his uncle, and he got his own path, and I'm proud of him. Absolutely. Because that's a dream, man. That's a dream, a dream of mine to this day. Like, you came back and be able to put your family in position. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about, man. Yes. That's real big homie shit, man. That's why I salute yeah. the guys. Sometimes I just call. I ain't going to say their names. Right but I just call be like, yo, damn, you know, I just wanted to talk to a legend today. Everybody can't do that. That's a fact. I might write one of my favorite music artists online and never get a response, as you know, which is that's perfectly true. fine. But I, it's legends right here. I can get yeah, up exactly. and sit next to one right no now. Doubt. What's That's up, man? I feel. can't just hit. You know That's what I'm saying? That's a fact. Um, before we get out of here and, and, and see what you got going on for the rest of the year, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, everybody got social media, man. I see you've uh, became this calisthenic guru. You and yeah, Jada Kiss, man. Yeah, yeah, Talk yeah. about y'all connection, man. How oh, y'all linked man. up and yeah, you know man. what's the story about 2914? You know what's like crazy? I was, it was COVID happened and I'm home now. I'm home from France. Sure. They made me come home. Kiss is doing his walk with Ray Rice and them. They okay. go on a walk from Legends. like Church Street School all the way to the dam and back and get exercise in. So he seen me. I'm like, yo, Kiss, what's up? Ray, like, what's up? You know, they do they rock with me. I play story. for Team come 914. Here. They rock with me. He was like, yo, come rock with us and come come to walk. I took the walk. Yo, we hit it off like on some. And ever since then, we we walked and we worked out. And now this is like my brother. That's a different bond. Well, our man. bond is different. This is not nah. Our yeah. bond is yo. We talk about everything under the sun, man. Everything he be telling me comes to fruition too about life. Damn. He's very intelligent. Yo, Kiss is the man, dog. This he's, is him. he's down down to earth on some superstar stuff. He's down to earth, mm-hmm. superstar celebrity. You could talk to him about anything. Yeah, and he has knowledge for you with anything. For sure, and he. Like I said, our bond is for real. Like yeah. we talk often, every yeah. day, really. Yeah. And it was just a, he seen me for who I am Absolutely. as a person, mm-hmm. and seeing that I could talk to you about various topics. And for sure, sports and basketball hits us off because we both enjoy it. But we could discuss so many different things. Life, man. and his life, and his business. And I ask, I'm a big, I'm very inquisitive. So I ask mad questions. Me too. It's right? like Pisces in us. Yeah, we very inquisitive. We want to learn and know, like, and not like intrusive stuff, nah. but real. And, and the questions have helped me become friends with 
mad people like on some like, damn, yo, ask me more. You asked the question a certain way that made him. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's cause different. Cause Charles Oakley, just give an example. Yeah. He became cool with me because of the questions I was asking him about life and basketball. Yeah, how you even thinking like that? Yeah, how, yeah. And, yo, ask me more. He even went to, other people I've seen people ask questions like, yo, get him away from me. Man. Yeah, please. But it ain't, yeah. yeah. Us, we have a real bond. Like I said, shout out to Ray as well, yes. who, put, who came with us and we was just on these walks. So we do the walks. And then we do the calisthenics. Shout out the giant, the bar father. For sure. He's the one that helped me do Kiss on that bar. I became, like you said. Yeah, you just, just yeah, I, It was I, one I, summer. We was, was the only ones doing it. Just Greenberg shit. Facts. I, and then mm-hmm. now I seen you jumping over the bar. Yes. I said, God yeah. damn. Yeah. Make the boys work here, man. Definitely. We, that was I put love. a lot of work. You matter of fact, pulled that. up on us down the back yes. one time randomly and got it in with us. Yes. Yeah, so that's love, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You always been strong, but I, I said, man. I, yeah, I got way. You yeah. ain't lying. It, I could say that it came from just putting me on with himself and Giant yeah. and me. Once you get me something, yeah. I'm one of them. Yeah, Kiss, I'm, yeah, we don't know him for working out. Kiss now, been taking look, that serious see, man, too. He's dedicated. See, he's on that bar crazy, yeah, he's and he's on very it. good at it. Yeah, so. and I feel like once you bond with mm-hmm. that level of substance, that level of soil yeah. that you that you just growing in, yes. y'all not, no disrespect, I mean, because you could bond on a corner and shit like of that, course. but y'all, y'all helping each other grow. Yeah, gro- growth is everything. That's, a whole That's what he's all about. And I took major trips, though, with him. Yeah, he took me on me. I've been on major trips though, where I'm the person that is just with him and ain't on some like, just like, yo, this is what we do. And he's at work, so I I respect work. I'm not there to just be partying while my man working. I'm yeah. there to see and his work ethic. Like shout out to him and the locks and mm-hmm. the loyalty that they have in their work ethic and their shows. Yeah, I learned a lot from that. Mm-hmm. So I can, only, like I said, grateful, thankful, yeah. and keep it going, man. And both of y'all, y'all different ages, but I mm-hmm. feel like y'all got similar positions. Like, if you've been outside, yes. you know what you are to Ferris. You can't take that That's away. Fact, it's, 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 it's you the farmer. You know, the master fact. farmer, I'm going to call y'all. And kisses mm-hmm. the same way. Same. Y'all got entourages of people around he, y'all. He, y'all, saw y'all the similar, yeah. he saw the similarities yeah, on what he y'all, y'all had moved. to deal with in YO and what he deal with with people you and do. the phone calls that come through. He seen my phone oh, yeah. the same way. For and sure. like, yo, they, yo. And it, but he has more experience and knowledge on that. Mm-hmm. I had to come home from overseas to learn, damn, yeah. it's a little tough, man. I got to maybe walk away from one of my mans that's not really trying to, that's I'm being a, real. That's, that's the tough. tough part about yeah, it. I could say that. I, and it's happened to me in the last three, since COVID. Mm-hmm. So that would be three or four years now, four, it's up yeah. to four. It, t- hard, it took a toll man. on me. It's so hard. I'm not going to lie. With friends, Sam. Once I came home from overseas, I was I was easy to breeze in and breeze out. I'm 10 months overseas, two months home. You know, parties, boat rides, having fun. But when you stuck right. home, yeah, you start yeah, you start yeah, having to yeah. see the day to day. You, you got to get out. I mean, you got to. The safest, the safest. Out. Yeah, you have to. You have to. You have to. See, cause you, you can't worry about the people. You got to worry about your family first. Yeah. Then I get to yeah. the people. And and I gotta have to learn that I have to keep myself steady. Because if I'm not steady, how is everybody around me going to be steady? 100%. And that's when you got to take, you, that's when you got to disengage. Yes. I'm very big on this. Because if I'm not functioning, yes. then I know you're not going to be functioning. No. So somebody got to, you're going to feel a way. I got to isolate myself for the, for, the, for the sake of my sanity. I agree. Yeah. That's a fact, brother. What's next for Tori, mm. man? I mean, you said you had some tryouts. We spoke off camera. You yeah, said you had tryouts so I going tried on. I for the kids. I'm, yeah. I'm working on some got going on? over here in Valhalla area. Mm-hmm. We're still going to be wiping, but Valhalla... Um, trying to figure out some AAU situation. So I'm trying to help on that. Um, I really want to do my consulting group. Ooh. Me, like Tory Thomas Consulting, like my man's putting me on with Rhythm. Mm-hmm. Who's, Shout who's out, big. Shout he's, rhythm. he's telling me that you have too much now, too many things. People call you for everything. I'm like the plug on everything. Oh so be a consultant to it. And I want to do that for the kids that want to go to college, kids that want to go pro. I have all of these avenues. Yeah. Kids that want to go to different high schools. Just being a consultant in that. And then my businesses, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I want to get back. I really want to get back into maybe the restaurant business when yeah. I get a chance. Just so I want to be a consultant that's to a things. It's a tough business. It's a tough it, business. It, it, but business. I feel like it's the necessary thing. Yeah. For, if I like to go out and enjoy, why I'm not doing it with something that I own? For sure. Why I got to spend my money everywhere else? Yeah. And with people that you can't get yeah. nothing back from. Right. We got to make this a cycle. Yeah. Us as black people have to make it a cycle of how we spend our money together yeah. so we can always cycle it together. It's tough. It has man. to be a cycle. It's tough. And we gotta learn yeah. that it could be tough, but we gotta make a change. Yeah. And that's what I'm about. 
Yeah, that's what you're about. For mm -hmm. our culture is just not. I just don't see it for mm -hmm. us like that. It, it, I just see you got to me personally merge with you know the like minded and yeah, the, that's you, right. It, 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 it don't matter the color. culturally. It's just it not doesn't matter the color when a, I say that, but it matters the areas. The coin. Yeah, you have some people that say, "Well, we love Tory," and then you have some yes. people who the fuck Tory think he is. Yeah, let's kill him. Right. That's right. what I fucked up. Our people are sometimes. Right. But uh, yeah, man. Final thoughts, man. Tory mm -hmm. Thomas, man. Talk to the people. What you want to let them know, man? man it's a legend, man. Like man. playing. Let's get it. FAP Ferris. Yeah, Ferris. Man. What's Admiral, up? Like, but I, I just want to say that though, when you when you believe in yourself, you you can achieve anything. The dreams that we have is important. Don't ever let nobody downplay your dream. Don't let nobody ever tell you that you know they could diminish your dream. And what dreaming means is. You, it's a call to action. You can dream, but make it a call to action. And I'm going to leave anybody with saying that somebody told me, Pop, wake up every day with a purpose. Mm. And that's how I try to live my life, waking up every day with a purpose. So Thomas, ladies and gentlemen, it's man, a blessing, you know, it's a bro. pleasure to have Appreciate you on the platform, you, man. Thank this you for dope, having man. me. Appreciate you know, it. I can't wait. You know, I can't wait for this to come yeah, out. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this is a different this side of you, man. Yeah, I'm baby. noticing that a lot, like, yeah. I mean, I know you, so I knew how, yeah. you know, the, the, yeah, everybody can't get to that level. That's right. Mentally. Okay. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I enjoyed this. It's beautiful. What you think, Kurt?